Okay, Joe, your package arrived, so I'm going to go ahead and get you unpackaged. <laughs> Opened up here. Okay, well, I have a feeling I know what's in these two. Those are going to be some seals and maybe a crystal, perhaps. But, let's get to the heart of it here. Oh, cool. All right. Okay, well, let's have a look. Let's have a look. So, this is a 1973, January, 6105, 8119, 8119, in really, really good shape. It's looking good. Your bezel is just really clean. Man, what a great watch. Good, good, good. Good case edges, no polishing. Still got some of your original brushing on the back. Really nice. Good case back, nice and clean. So no uh, no apparent wear on the back in terms of damage due to opening. Um, you got a couple dings and nicks, but you know, I just point these out because I want everybody to be on the same page when their watch comes back. So we identify all the things that, that are there to begin with. You know, just your minor, minor, um, you know, wear kind of issues here, some rounding of the edges and things. Otherwise, it's in great shape. Um, crystal is something we're gonna replace. Looks like you get good loom in your pip. Um, can't really feel your, your ball, um, your click, but that could just, just be an issue of, of uh, grime and things, holding things back. I'm trying to see if I see the click. I can see a, perhaps, see the ball. We'll get to that. Anyway, okay, so crown lock works. Uh, of course, you need a new seal on your crown. That's really uh, feeling quite loose. You've had some water ingress. Um, if we can talk for a minute about condition. Um, so, you know, you've got some darkening of your loom uh, around the edges here. Uh, this is very dark. There are ways to try and uh, bring that back, um, your stoplight and your and your end. I I'll see what it looks like. I uh, can't make any promises to start with, but we'll see how we can do um, to get it to get it back a little bit. Um, you know, I can't necessarily bring back um, loom that's got this sort of deep, uh, deep dark inside. Um, if it were me, to be honest, I really wouldn't touch it. Um, I mean, you know, this is my personal watch, and it has it has dark loom as well in spots. And I still, you know, I think it's just part of the part of the the beauty of old watches is that they have patina that they've earned over the years, whether it's wanted or not. It's just part of the watch. But once we get the new crystal on and we we clean up some of the haze and things, um, I think it'll it'll come out really nice. Um, let's go ahead and get your case back off if we can without a tool. I may need to put it on the machine. Yep, I do. All right. Well, I'm going to put some power into your watch, and we're going to go over to the to the uh, time grapher, and we're going to see how it's looking. So bear with me just. A minute. Okay. Well, Joe. Um, you know this is uh, this is not not the best place for a watch, but it's here for a reason, right? We're we're going to service this. Um, you're losing a lot of time. You got very low amplitude. You know, the beat error is pretty, pretty significant. Um, yeah, this is, uh, you know, not a typical for a watch that hasn't been hasn't been looked at for a long time or, or uh, you know, worked on for a while. It's just the nature of the thing. So we're gonna try our best. We're gonna get it get it uh, tuned up and and uh, get it right. Um, you know, this, this rate right here, this is the amount of time you lose per day. That's in seconds per day, so you're at 180 here. Uh, the amplitude, this should be about 100 degrees larger than this. 230 is a good running number for these watches. 
you know, if you get better than that, that's a watch that's that's really premier, and sometimes they're in the hundred and or the two hundred and twenty five range, something like that. Um, one point one milliseconds. That's the distance between the tick and the talk. Um, milliseconds is a short period of time, but you can dial this in and get it pretty close to perfect. So, <clears throat> anyway, all that said, you know, this is a watch that needs service. That's clear. So we'll we're gonna do service. That's what we're gonna do. All right. I like to go ahead and get it open. Um, so bear with me one more moment, and I'll put it on the device, and we'll we'll see if we can do it. Give me a moment. Okay. That was successful, so let's go ahead. It's a really nice case back. Okay, so um, pretty hazy back here. That means it's seen some water. Let's see if it's seen some service. No actual service marks in the case, which is interesting. Okay, well, um, you got a fairly elastic feeling seal. I try and check the sort of obvious things. You know, this is one of those those situations where it's probably just seen ingress of moisture from the environment over the years and, you know, that slows things down. Um, it probably has old, old uh, lubricants that weren't, you know, synthetic, um, or at least partially synthetic. Let's see. Do you have any lubrication under your cap jewel here? Yeah, nothing. All right, so it's running essentially dry at the moment, and uh, we're going to make it better. All right, well, um, we're going to get started. And once I hear from you and we know to go ahead and proceed, um, everything looks intact and in good shape. Um, it's just a matter of, of getting things serviced, getting your Arbor ports uh, taken care of and jeweled. Um, yeah, so we're going to... Oh, yeah. We're going to deal with that. You can see that screw head. That should not move at all. And that is flopping all over the place. So we'll take care of that as well. All right. Well, uh, Joe, your watch is here. I think your crystal uh, is here and maybe a, a pack of seals, perhaps. Um, yes. So you sent me some things, which we're going to deal with. Uh, I'm not going to actually use this um, crown seal. Or I'm sorry, not crown seal. Apologies. I will use your crown seal. Um, I'm not going to use this uh, gasket for your crystal. The one that's in your watch should go back into your watch because it is the Seiko factory and it will not harden. This is not made from the correct material because um, I know the source. Uh, so we're going to, yes, use your other ones and they're, they're, you know, the, they're right for this watch, but we're not going to use your, I'll send back your your crystal seal. The one that's in your watch is always the best one to go with if it's not damaged. Um, okay, well, thanks again, and uh, I'll send this off to you, and we'll get started.